Hey everyone, I'm in my car and I'm filming using my Sony Action Camera Mini again. I bought this about a month or so ago and at the time I didn't buy another memory card. What I did was I just took out the 16GB M2 memory card from my Sony PSP Go and I put it into this one. And the reason was there, was there wasn't a good selection of memory cards in Columbia at the time so I thought I'll just wait to get back home. Now because of that, all of the footage so far that I've recorded for my channel has been recorded in MP4 format which allows me to write to the disc I think it's up to 28 megabytes per second. However, this camera also allows me to record an XAVCS format. Now this is a, a better format and it allows me to write up to 50 megabytes per second. But in order to do that, I need to have a class 10 memory card or higher. And the memory card I was using before was like four or five years old or whatever. So I've went out and I've purchased a 64 gigabyte Kingston micro SDXC card. This can read at 90 megabytes per second or it can write at 80. So this should be more than able to cope with the XAVCS format. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a walk, I'm going to put this in the camera, take a walk and go out with my little X-Shot selfie stick. And I'm going to take some clips using the MP4 format and the XAVCS format. I'll take a few different clips and my hope is that it highlights how much better the XAVCS format is. Perhaps there will be some scenarios where you can't tell the difference, but my hope is there'll be less noise, that you know, there'll be better colours, there'll be less saturation, it'll be everything should be better. So let's take a little walk and see if XAVCS is all what it's cracked up to be. So I'm walking along with my selfie stick and this is the original format. This is MP4 format. So this should be the same quality that I've been getting for the last month or so. Should be quite good, it should pick up everything that's around me. But let's see if the XAVCS format is much better. So now I'm filming using the XAVCS format. I'm recording at 50 megabytes per second at 60 frames per second. You look around. So what I'll do just now is I'll walk up somewhere and I'll film some things statically without me in the picture and I'll show you the difference between MP4 and the XEVC S format.
So I hope those clips have helped you see the differences between MP4 format and XEVCS. One is recording at 28 megabytes per second and the other is recording at 50 megabytes per second. But all the clips today in this video have been recorded at 60 frames per second so that is one thing that has been consistent. Please do leave a comment below, I'd love to hear your opinion on what you think the main differences are, if there are any. And if you've enjoyed the video please do click like or subscribe. Speak to you soon guys, thanks.